If you're looking for living history, here it is. The Alna Meeting House, built in 1789, when Alna was still called New Milford, and largely unchanged since Maine became a state 31 years later. Town residents are believed to have met here in July of 1819 when they voted whether the District of Maine should separate from Massachusetts to become a state. All I think was uh, 40 for statehood and 50 against. Christy Chapman Mitchell is assistant director of the Maine Historic Preservation Commission. She says that statehood vote 200 years ago this month was a very big deal. By the time the July uh, 1819 vote happened. Um, there had been a number of earlier votes. Um, it was the question of statehood was overwhelmingly defeated in 1816. But by 1819, a number of situations had changed. So that month, in every town and city, people gathered to cast their votes. The final result was about 17,000 for statehood about 7,000 against. Many of the places where statehood votes were taken back in 1819 are long gone, but the Alna Meeting House still stands, and there are others too. The Maine Historic Preservation Commission is hoping to find them. They know a few, including the former Hiram Town Hall and the old First Parish Church in what is now Kennebunk, and a few other places like the Alna Meeting House. The biggest vote, of course, was in Portland, the largest town or city even then. But where did it happen? Interestingly enough, none of the contemporary newspapers, either for or against the motion for independence, actually say where the voting took place. My guess is that it was probably at the First Parish Church, which was the largest public hall in uh, Portland. Local historian Herb Adams says this was the old First Parish Church in 1819, used in the fall of that same year for the convention that wrote Maine's Constitution. And it was replaced just a few years later by the stone church that still stands today. Maine Historic Preservation has set up a special page online asking for help finding more of those important places. To help ground us in where we are, to help ground us as Mainers and help us understand where we came from. And as Maine's bicentennial begins, to help us appreciate where history was made. In Alna, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. So the survey of statehood locations can be found on the website for the Maine Historic Preservation Commission. And we also have a link to that on our digital pages. And we're going to be telling you a lot more about the bicentennial in the coming weeks.